Hey everyone, Coach Investor back to another video for today. So we've probably seen already the headlines, the special rebalance of the Nasdaq, how this could impact your portfolio, how this will impact your holdings. Well, throughout this video, I'm going to explain what that special rebalance is, why this happens, and why this will probably do exactly nothing to the stocks that you own. Unless, of course, you buy the index, but even that doesn't really change that much. So special rebalance or a rebalancing is unlike a reconstitution where stocks are added or removed, a rebalancing is basically rebalancing the index. If a couple of companies, in this case, the Magnificent 7, which is Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Meta, Tesla, Nvidia, and Microsoft, they are, let's say, over concentrated. They weigh too much on the index. So you have to rebalance that. What happens? Yes, those seven will basically have a smaller percentage of the overall index. And so who will gain from this? Probably the companies that have a lower percentage in that index. Now, this has only happened twice in history, one in 1998 and one in 2011. Now, if we look at history, if we look at the graph, if we look at the performance of the magnificent seven companies, has this stopped these companies from performing and executing correctly to become the behemoths that they are today? No, it did not. Now, the changes will be announced on July 14th and it will go into effect on July 24. And so, as always, the market might anticipate this beforehand. So the stock might go down. As you can see, actually, in the last couple of days, these mega cap companies have a bit sometimes underperformed the market. Now, to explain it a bit further, the special rebalancing may be conducted at any time if the aggregate weight of companies, each having more than 4.5% weight in the index, tops 48%, according to the NASDAQ. During the rebalancing, it is capped at 40%. Don't worry, we're going to have a look at the list in just a bit. Microsoft has the largest weight at 12.91%, followed by Apple at 12.47%, then NVIDIA, Amazon, and Tesla. Now, of course, when a rebalancing happens, you know that portfolio managers have to change their portfolio as well. So what will they do is probably reduce their holdings in those big cap companies and they will have to add into those smaller ones. And so this might also be one of the reasons why the smaller cap companies have been outperforming in the last couple of days. Now, if we go and look at the list, it's basically this Microsoft at one, then Apple, Nvidia, Amazon, Tesla, Meta, and then Alphabet. And if you wanna have a look at the full list, I'll scroll pretty slowly and then you can pause and see every company that's in the NASDAQ 100. So we are reaching the end pretty soon. Ta-da. Now, if you're enjoying this type of video so far, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you have not, would really appreciate that. We're trying to reach 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And if you want to support me even further, do check out the link down in the description and in the pinned comment to get the top 10 best stocks to buy now or go to fool.com for slash couch investor. Now, when the rebalancing happens, how will this impact the overall stock market? How will this impact the stocks affected? And so we'll go here to Saxo. They have a nice little summary here from Peter. So the special rebalance will trigger around $9.6 billion in rebalancing traded value by the 24 ETFs listed in the United States and Europe tracking the NASDAQ 100 index. The underlying equity valuation of these securities is not impacted by the special rebalance and the rebalancing should in theory not have a significant price impact based on their estimates. They continue by saying that the 24 ETFs tracking the NASDAQ 100 index have a combined assets under management of $271 billion. And so if you assume the combined index weight in the five largest securities is reduced to 40%, this is how they reach the $9.6 billion. And according to them, the price impact should be small with the least price impact that expected in Tesla shares and the largest impact in Microsoft shares. And so how will this impact your companies? And just like with a dividend payout, just like with a stock split, nothing really changes to the underlying business. And so they say here, as with stock splits and dividends, these events do not change the underlying equity valuation of the securities and thus new stories yesterday suggesting the top five technology stocks in the NASDAQ 100 were due to the announcement is a bit silly. 
given the underlying value has not changed, any front selling of shares in advance of the special rebalance should theoretically be met by bids as the underlying value has not changed. Despite this obvious fact, one could still make the case that forced selling by passive ETFs tracking the Nasdaq 100 index could move the market. And this is where I'll have to agree. Again, when we see stock splits, usually what happens is the market, the stock rallies, and then the stock split, the stock falls off a little bit. Why does this happen? I don't know, just human psychology. People think that the stock is automatically cheaper because the stock has split, but we all know that that doesn't make any sense. So now you know, this is what the special rebalancing will be. This is why there really won't be any major impact to the holdings that you have in your portfolio. And so you can move on with your day. As always, if you enjoy this type of videos, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.